Available now on Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD from Severin Films, the package with the two, is a film from 1995 entitled The Day of the Beast, or Day of the Beast. It's a film by uh, Spanish filmmaker Alex de Iglesia, and this is a film that I actually had seen in a theater. Uh, the Coolidge Corner Theater in Boston used to do, and they still actually do, these 12-hour uh, horror movie marathons, and then they would play all kinds of stuff, um, announced and unannounced titles, um, new, old, oddball, whatever. And this was one that I had heard about. This was one that when I was in college in the the um, early to mid-90s, people used to talk about as being this really cool, wacky film that they'd heard about, but it was really hard to see. Um, I'm not sure what kind of home video release it had up to this point in America, but now it's out from Severn Films. So what this is about, it's fun for the whole family. This is a film that is, uh, it's in Spanish, shot in Spain. It's about this guy who's a priest, very, very genial, very uh, upbeat kind of priest who decides uh, he needs to commit as many sins as possible in order to summon the devil so that he can, um, the devil or a demon, so that he can avert the apocalypse. So he wants to basically summon this demon of the devil so he can vanquish him and keep the apocalypse from happening according to prophecies and, and scriptures and all that. So he enlists the aid of a uh, metalhead who works at a record or a video store who believes, you know, is in Satan or, or believes that Satan's real at the very least. And this uh, sort of sleazy, cheesy TV paranormal investigator guy who, who this priest sees on TV and believes he, he knows the way he can, he does exorcisms. He can, he can vanquish the devil. So it's just, it's, I think it takes place over the course of one evening, this wild night in somewhere in Madrid, I believe, where they're just trying to do the most heinous things possible with a smile. And uh, it's pretty hilarious. It's, I would sort of put this in the horror movie category, even though it's really predominantly a comedy, but there's a lot of gore or gross stuff or violence, but it's all like, it's like wacky violence. It's almost like Tucker and Dale versus evil kind of violence. And the, the metalhead is this pretty happy-go-lucky guy who's happy to help out. And the, and the priest is, is uh, you know, while he's doing these heinous acts, he's still very polite. And um, I, I did not remember much about this from that first screening that I had seen years ago. So seeing it again on this Blu-ray in glorious 4K. 4K is still kind of new to me, but luckily we have a, a 4K player and, and giant TV here. So I'm able to actually speak on the quality of these things. And it looks it looks fabulous. It's um, not a terribly colorful film, but due to the subject matter, you, it's kind of dark and dark tones and all that. But uh, AV wise, it looks and sounds great. It is loaded with uh, extras, and I was going to try to remember what the extras were, but I'm actually, I'm actually just kind of. Is there any glare? Are you getting glare? Glare on that? I'm just going to read to you from the back of the box. So, part in the top of my head. So you get, uh, you get the Blu-ray. You get the as a separate disc with all the extras. Then you get the 4K, which is cool, sort of like the old Superbit releases used to be on DVD. The 4K disc, it's just the movie and the trailer, so it doesn't waste any any bit rate, any data on that disc on anything except just a really, really high quality copy of the film. Um, so the, the, the Blu-ray has the film, it has a feature length making of, interview with the director, interview with the actor, interview with uh, Maria Grazia Cucinata, who you might recognize, her character name was Cigar Girl in um, The World, was it The World Is Not Enough, I think? One of the Bond films, one of the Pierce Brosnan Bond films she's in. Um, this was, um, several years before that. that. Actually, this movie might have gotten her the role in that. Um, interview with the director of photography, a short film by Alex de Iglesia, and the trailers. So, uh, yeah, it's rare that I can do this, but, you know, I've got the graphic up there anyway. Uh, Day of the Beast, very interesting. Uh, for those who are willing to watch subtitles, it's my notes that I have over here that you can't see from when I first watched it. Um, my, I had written in my notes, it's very metal. It's a very metal movie. It's got, in terms of the music that's used in it and the sensibility, this is a really good movie to watch with friends if you get together on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, I, I had a really great time with this and I think, uh, I think if you're the right kind of person, you might too. So this is The Day of the Beast, out now on Blu-ray and 4K UHD from Severin Films.